Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Roger White. How are you today? Great, Tracy. How are you doing? So you just put some news out just this morning about this new anti-cancer photodynamic compound TLD-1433. Is that correct? Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about it. So you've got the pre-commercial batch. Yes, when you're going into cancer trials, you need enough of the substance or the drug in order to go into human clinical trials. So what Health Canada and the FDA requires what's called a GMP, or Good Manufacturing Practices Batch. So our partner, uh, originally produced the drug in a quarter or half gram batch. They've now, what our news release this morning was about, is we've produced it in a pre-commercial batch. So we've produced 50 grams of the compound. We're going to do another 50 gram batch and then we're going to do what's called our GMP batch, which is a 500 gram batch. A 500 gram batch will treat up to 10,000 patients. So it's a big amount of this drug because it's a very powerful drug. So it's a very big news for us. So for the Investor Intel audience that's trying to understand the Theralase story, when we initially started discussing Theralase, you were a pain management company, and now you're part of the anti-cancer treatment universe. Can you tell us a little bit more about how you got there? Well, Theralase has two divisions. It's a medical laser company, so both divisions are related to medical lasers. There's the therapeutic division where we manufacture lasers to uh, eliminate pain, eliminate uh, inflammation, accelerate tissue healing, which is where we started. We've then licensed these photodynamic compounds, which have an affinity to cancer. Now they can be light activated, destroy cancer. We're now in the anti-cancer space. And of course, really big news has happened since the beginning of just this year with regards to your anti-cancer treatment. Can you give us an update about this? We've had a lot of news since the beginning of the year. Um, for our anti-cancer technology, there's a number of steps that are required in order to go to human clinical testing, phase one, phase two, phase three testing. Those involve manufacture of the drug to what's called a GMP, or a Good Manufacturing Practice Standard. It involves toxicity analysis, so defining the minimum effective dose, or the low limit, and the maximum tolerated dose, or the high limit. And then it also involves uh, the clinical protocol. So those three things are the trilogy required to get a clinical trial application by Health Canada to start enrolling patients for a very deadly disease, non-muscle invasive bladder cancer. So for all of us investors, I think I read as well that you had made a, uh, in part of this application process, you have a new strategic partnership with uh, Cytox Lab. Can you tell us a little bit more about that as well? Cytox Lab is our toxicity analysis partner. So what Cytox Lab does is they determine the minimum effective dose and the maximum tolerated dose. It's a very similar analogy if you were taking, if you had a headache and you took two aspirins. If you took a tenth of an aspirin, it's not going to work. If you took 200 aspirins, I'm going to have to drive you to the emergency ward. So how did they figure out two aspirins was good for your headache? They did testing to determine that. So that's what Cytox Lab is doing with our drug, TLD1433, figuring the low and high limits. So that's why they're a very strategic partner for us. And what kind of timeline are we looking for uh, before you can actually put the CTA application in? Well, we have met with Health Canada at the end of first quarter. We are in progress on our toxicity analysis, which should be completed at the end of second quarter this year, beginning of third quarter. The manufacturer, or GMP manufacturer, the drug is happening at the end of second quarter, beginning of third quarter. So we'll be in a position to submit our CTA application to Health Canada in third quarter. We're looking to start enrolling patients beginning of fourth quarter, 2015. Now, with regards to the Theralays, you know, pain management products. How are we doing for revenue and sales or can you give us an update on that particular part of the company? Well, on that um, division, the company generally does one and a half to two million dollars in revenue. So for 2015, that's still our guidance going forward until we launch our TLC 2000, which we're looking to do, have Health Canada approval in April. We're looking to launch in Canada in May and then in the U.S. in September. So we're looking forward to our guidance is somewhere uh, in the four to five million dollars this year, ten million next year. Well, I just want to add that I really am enjoying your your webcast, and I want to recommend this for other CEOs of public companies that I can look you up on YouTube, and you you provide updates in a timely basis. Can you give the shareholders and our audience uh, something else about what we should anticipate for say the next two quarters? What you're going to see is a lot of news on both divisions. You're going to see the launch of the TLC 2000. 
So you're going to see uh, Health Canada approval, you're going to see CSA approval, you're going to see it start to roll out across our direct sales force in Canada. Uh, into third quarter, you'll see it approved by FDA and by CE, by European standards, and then start to roll out in the U.S. Uh, end of third quarter, beginning of fourth. On the cancer division, which is really exciting, uh, you'll see the uh, approval by the toxicity analysis, you'll see GMP manufacture, you'll see a drug master file, you'll see the clinical trial um, protocol approved, you'll see our CT application, all um, uh, culminate, culminating in the approval by Health Canada and then first man in studies for non-muscle invasive bladder cancer. Well, Roger, thank you so much for joining us and updating us today. Real pleasure, Tracy.